Elio Castroneves pulled away on a late restart and won his third Indy 500 Sunday. The popular Brazilian is just the sixth driver to win the race three times. Three drivers have each won four Indy 500 titles. The man nicknamed Spider-Man put an exclamation point on the victory by climbing the fence, his signature celebration, to share the moment with his fans. It's a great way to pay them back. I mean, what an incredible um, way to, uh, uh, to show that I'm so honored to have fans like that, and uh, I will never forget. Castro Navis also kissed the track. The 34-year-old was emotional after taking the checkered flag. Then it seemed he couldn't stop smiling. Just five and a half weeks ago, Castro Navis was acquitted of most charges of tax evasion. The remaining count was thrown out Friday. Castro Navis thanked team owner Roger Penske for sticking with him. I keep telling this to Roger and Sindrick to give me um, and our partners to give my uh, to never stop believing me and to give my life back. Penske earned his record 15th Indy win as an owner. He said he had faith in his driver. We sat down with Elio and said, look, you know, we got a situation here we got to deal with. We will stay with you till the final answer. And obviously as the season uh, was going to start, he understood that we had to uh, put someone else in the car and we said, you need to focus on your situation. But the moment, you know, we get the word that you're ready to go, we're going to have a car for you. Castro Navis got a great jump on the restart with 17 laps to go. He pulled away from Dan Weldon and Danica Patrick to win by nearly two seconds. Weldon was second and Patrick came in third, one place better than her finish as a rookie four years ago. To miss a win here, in, you know, it's, it's enough to just have a chance. You know, if you can be there, that doesn't happen that often, but then to miss it is like even more like, oh. Um, but, you know, what can I say? Elio was really fast and Dan did a good job too. Crashes took out some of the bigger names in the field, including perennial contender Tony Kanan. He was running third when his rear suspension broke on lap 98. The car slammed head-on into the outside wall at 190 miles an hour, then hit it again, briefly leaving a trail of fire before rolling to a stop. i got to thank uh, my team and the safety team for, uh, for making this car so safe. I mean, uh, when I saw that wall coming, I didn't think I was going to walk out of here. So uh, let's move on. Let's move on. The popular Kanan wasn't seriously hurt. He's led more laps of any active non-winner at Indianapolis and has qualified on the front row three times, but he has yet to win the Indy 500, while fellow Brazilian Castroneves collected another. Jim Militello, The Associated Press.